So here's a problem that we might encounter on one of our quizzes or exams. It's given a UPAC name of this compound right here. So this is an interesting compound because what I talked about in the first video about alcohol nomenclature is that we always look for the longest chain in the molecule, the longest carbon chain in the molecule. But we look for the longest carbon chain in the molecule that contains the hydroxyl group. So we're looking for the longest chain with the hydroxyl group because if you were to just come along and say, well, let's just look for the longest chain, but the longest chain is one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms long. But this is not the longest chain including the hydroxyl group. That doesn't include the hydroxyl group at all. So if we delete that, so I'll delete this too. So we look for the longest chain that contains that hydroxyl group. We want to include that hydroxyl group. It's going to be carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So instead of having the longest chain be 6 carbon atoms long, in fact, it is only 5 carbon atoms long. And we're going to start with the end closest to that hydroxyl group. So how are we going to name this? Well, it's, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons. So it's going to be pentanol. So it's going to be some kind of pentanol. And the hydroxyl group is in the first position, so it's going to be penten one all. And this one indicates that the hydroxyl group is in the on the first carbon atom of the molecule. So then if we look at the other pieces of the molecule, what else do we have here? Well, we have this other group here. Let me choose a different color. Let me choose green. So we have this branch here. And hopefully you remember from chemistry 3101 that this is an isopropyl group. Isopropyl. And then we also have this little group up here on carbon 3 and this is an iodomethyl group. Iodomethyl. So we have these two groups. We have this isopropyl group and we have this iodomethyl group. So iodomethyl is going to be first in terms of alphabetical uh, order. So the iodomethyl group is at the 3 position, so it's going to be 3 iodomethyl, and then we have 2 isopropyl, because the isopropyl is on the second carbon. So we have something on the third carbon, which is the iodomethyl. We have something on the second carbon, which is the isopropyl. So how would we put all this together? Well, we have our 3, so let's see, hopefully I can space this out correctly. We're going to have 3 and we're going to put that iodomethyl in brackets. Iodomethyl. So that's our first group. And then we're going to put two isopropyl. Isopropyl. And then it's going to be two isopropyl penten dash one all. So let me just uh, fix this a little bit here. So if we write this all out correctly, it's going to be 2 isopropyl pentan 1 all. So this will be our IUPAC name for this molecule. It's kind of a long name, but this would be the IUPAC name for this compound. So important things to remember is that we look for the longest chain starting with our hydroxyl group. So we find the longest carbon chain that includes that hydroxyl group and we start numbering at the end with the hydroxyl group. So once we found that, we go carbon 1, 2, we have a substituent here, it's an isopropyl group. On carbon 3, we have CH2I, which is an iodomethyl. Iodomethyl comes before isopropyl in alphabetical order, so it's 3 iodomethyl, 2 isopropyl pentan 1 all. So that is an IUPAC name for this compound.